welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comment section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you all how to uninstall Cortana in Windows 10. For whatever reason, when we go to the add and remove programs and settings, Cortana just won't let us uninstall. So I'll just show you guys very quickly here. Find Cortana, she's right here. And for whatever reason, we can't uninstall. So don't worry about it. There is a way around it, and I'm going to show you guys right now. So first, we're going to want to find PowerShell. And you can just search it right there, PowerShell. Don't click it yet. We're going to want to right-click on it and run as administrator. And once that is all loaded up, we will have to type in this command. Users dash package type filter bundle name quote star microsoft dot oh microsoft dot five four nine nine eight one C three F five F one zero star quotation and then we're gonna have to do one of these guys and then we're gonna do remove dash APPX package and then all users and just to double check we will go we'll hit enter and see what that brings up I should mention that this method actually uninstalls Cortana on all users Right now, I'm going to show you guys the command that's going to just uninstall it for the current user user that you're in. So this is the command, apex package, and then star Microsoft, micro, Microsoft, can't type today. Soft dot five four nine nine eight one C three F five F one zero star for a line oh star line remove APPX package. So this command will actually just like I said before, we'll uninstall only for the user that you're currently in. So mine is Patrick, so it'll only uninstall for that, but Cortana will be on the other user. So if you have like a family user, then it'll obviously be there. Hit enter and it's uninstalled. So that's basically it. To make sure that it is uninstalled properly, we can X that, and then we can go back to the add or remove programs. Left click on that, make this a little bit bigger, and now we can try to look for Cortana. And as you can see, she is removed. 
or they are removed and you and it's uninstalled just like that thanks for watching guys i'm how to tech tips keep teching on